Good day, everybody. My name is Dami Love, and I'm glad to have you all here today. Today, we're talking about our health and our diet. And I'm going to be looking at the holy book that's the Bible, Genesis 129. Immediately after God created human beings, He gave an instruction, said, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth. And every tree which is the fruit of the tree hidden seed to you it shall be for meat. NIV translation said food shall be for food. That is the fruits are meant for food. And by the time you fast forward to Ezekiel 47 verse 12, it confirms it also. And the Bible says the fruits shall be for food and the leaves that comes out of the fruit will be for medicine. That's Ezekiel 47 verse 12. Well, we have all missed it from the beginning because the truth is just that the Bible is our manual. God created us and then if he has given us instruction, we need to follow suit. Many of us are so careless in the way we eat. What baffles me most in our generation is that what we really call food nowadays are jokes. And the real food, we have abandoned it. Any food that doesn't come from the ground, it is not a food. Man was made from the dust, somebody said so. And everything that comes out of the ground, that's out of the dust, benefits man. It baffles me a lot nowadays that you see our young children, they are battling with diseases that elderly people battle with. You see a child, a teenage child having high blood pressure, teenage child having diabetes, a child of 10 years having ovarian cyst. Still a veggie, oh my god. And then we now realize that it is not about age alone. It is about our diet. There was a time I went to give a seminar in a church. And after this seminar, the proprietor of the members were checked. Guess what? Most of the teenagers, the, the high blood pressure were high. And I was like, okay. They said high blood pressure is caused as a result of easy stress on your heart, thinking and everything. I was wondering. What are teenage children thinking about? There's something wrong. And if we don't address it now, it is so dangerous. So many of our children now they are battling with infertility. Because of what? Because many of them they have already tampered with their fallopian tube when they were young because of eating wrong. Some of them had uh, what's it called irregular menstruation. Some of them had uh, what's it called ovarian cysts and many things as a teenager. Some of them, without drugs, without pills, they cannot see their messes. So why are they, where are these coming from? It is because of wrong diet. Until we start learning to eat. Some people can, one week, two weeks can pass, they may not have taken any fruits and vegetables. And then you wonder why you are sick. How you just pump into your body is junk, junk, processed food, synthetic drinks. Since everything you are taking is synthetic, you pack food for the children to school, Check it out. Everything is synthetic. Nothing natural. Please, it is high time we parents wake up. We walk off from our slumber and do the right thing. Stop packing drinks for your children. Buying drinks and give it there. Get your juice extractor. Get your blender. Make good juices for them. Make juice for them from fruits, watermelon, pineapple, orange. There are a lot of juices you can make that they can enjoy. Please. When children are sick, it affects the whole of the family, not talk of adults. We need to correct our diet. We need to eat healthy. Take a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables. Eat natural, eat only healthy food. Like I defined it in our group, a healthy food is a food that contains 100% natural substances. If it is not 100% natural, it is not healthy. So anytime you, you are giving salt any food, ask yourself, are they natural? Is the food natural? Is it natural? Does it have life in it? Can you plant it? Can you plant it? If you cannot plant it, then don't take it. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. It is like time we walk off from our slumber. A lot of things are happening. In Nigeria alone, I learned that we have over 25 million Nigerians that are battling with kidney problem. Where would they get money for kidney transplants? Until we learn to eat healthy. If we don't eat, if we are not eating healthy, there is no how 
we can maintain a healthy body. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I love you so much. Please subscribe to our channel and share with people. We have a lot of things to learn here. God bless you. I 